of time with this Halloween theme. You know why? Because I don't really use oranges that much. And so it's hard for me to judge what looks good. Uh, let's just get to it though, right? I have my two foot cradled wood board. I got from Canada and Desairs, I don't know where you can get them in the States. Um, but if you want MDF rounds, fluidart.co has them. And I just put it right on my spinner. I have a metal cake spinner from Amazon. This is called the Ohuhu, but anything that spins quite easily is fine. <clears throat> and I find spinning a two footer works perfectly fine. Oh, except if there's paint in the way, perfectly fine for me. So let's discuss what we're gonna be doing. I hope it looks nice, I don't know. For my pillow paint, <clears throat> I'm gonna be using this Sherwin-Williams color to go. This is the deep base. Now they're not even making these anymore, but I do like it. It is a thinner base. Um, I get, it's very comparable to what I'm using usually, which is the Glidden Essentials eggshell. I also leave that open for a few days, but I do tend to like sometimes a thinner pillow paint, even though thicker pillow paints give you better cells. In Canada, it's hard to find a good pillow paint. So for Canadians, Glidden Essential Eggshells is what I use. Um, so let's get to work. Oh, why don't, before I get all excited, let's discuss colors. So I think this is my order. Uh, this is Golden Diorite Yellow, if you can see a good color. Um, I have TLP Mango which I never use, but it's actually pretty, so I should use it more. I made this custom red. I just used Cad Red Medium, and I added a bit of the yellow to it to make it a little more orangey. Yeah. Uh, and I have one of my go-tos, Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold, and I'm using, oh, don't forget, TLP Golden Peach, another one of my favorites. Um, and then I have my white Shelly Art Cell Activator. Now, my paints are a little thicker than normal because I left them open when I went away this weekend. So, I'm actually fine. They're not, I think I have to thin down one of them, but I'm fine with using a little thicker paint. When you get to be good at it, you really could use any consistency of anything. It's just about kind of tweaking what you're doing. Let me give this a little mix. Can you, see, can you see I'm avoiding doing this? All right, let's just do it, Lisa, because it's never gonna get any better. Okay, so let's see. And oh, this is really thick, so I left this open too. Um, when you're putting down your pillow paint, you have to think about what you want. If you want uh, more negative space, you don't wanna put that much pillow because you don't wanna have to spin off too much. This one's okay because it kind of it's really thickened up because I left it open. So I'm just going to kind of, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Now this isn't ideal all the time because you do get bubbles as you do this, um, but we should be okay. I don't think I've ever used this paint that thick. I think that, that this can has been open for three days, not on purpose. I went away this weekend because it's Canadian Thanksgiving weekend and uh, I forgot to close my paints up. So this could be a total waste of time as well, but what are you gonna do, right? <laughs> okay, so I am going to just do, I think, I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna do a basic bloom. I'm going to use my hair dryer because why not? Let me just spin this out a little bit. And the hair dryer I'm using today, I'll probably use my, oh wait, see? It's a good thing I did that because I see some dried up bloops in there that we don't want. So many bloops. There's one bloop. Here's the other bloop. Can't hide from me bloops. Um, I'm using my Baby Bliss hair dryer today. I think there's lots of bloops in this one because we left her open and she's mad at me. But we'll just see as we spin, right? So 
sorry. Don't be so, she's so mad at me and cranky with all her bloops in here. Oh, <laughs> you can see this is going really well, guys. Uh, so I hope you're enjoying so far. Okay, Let, let's just get to work if we can. So to get the hair bubbles out, you do a little tap. You can take your skewer as you blow it out, but let's just get to work, shall we? So we are going to start with my yellow. And since I'm doing one bloom, we're gonna go in the center and I don't mind negative space. However, you can see these paints are so thick. I don't even know if this is gonna work to be honest with you. But I figured I'd give it a go because why not? You can, by the way, thin your paints. I'm just being um, stubborn about it. But just to thin your paints, you can put a little Josonia. I'll probably do that for one of them. But I just want to see sometimes thick paints work really well. Sometimes you'll find thick paints actually kind of break up and you get, and they the paints almost look faded. But sometimes it can be cool. That was the mango. All right, and then here is my custom red. Oop, <laughs> add a little blue in there. Okay, and then, oh, let's not forget golden peach. And I think I'm gonna thin down my Nicolazzo gold, because it might be a little too gloopy for my liking. I hope this looks nice. I like the colors, I will say. So now, if it doesn't work, it's just my fault about my consistencies or how I blow. But, so I just took a little Josonia and I put it in my nickel as a gold. So it's a little more manageable. And then we'll put on our cell activator and give her a blow, give her a spin. Bob's your uncle, right? All right. Oh God, you guys, this is just making me nervous. Okay, here's my white. Also left open for a few days, but I actually like my cell activator pretty thick, personally. Okay. Get her, Lisa. You got this. All right. So you see there's some white left over. Do we see the sparkles? Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna try to lean over here. These are gonna get really big cells in the middle because as we sit, they're growing. I'm gonna try not to get paint on me. Just breaking it up a little bit. Now, the shape isn't horrible. Um, my spinner just never wants to be flat, so it's gonna move around a bit. I'm just gonna take my skewer and maybe make a few little designs. So, what are we gonna do? Now, keep in mind, I'm not like a modifier like the professionals, okay? I just kind of take areas that look possibly boring and try to zhuzh them up a bit. I'm sure you'll see some beautiful modifying by Nikki and Charmin and so many other modifiers. I'm more like a, I don't know what you would call me. <laughs> Not a profesh, but I'm just doing a little something to make the edges a little more interesting. And then of course, I can never leave anything alone. I start to think to myself, should I do anything to it else to make it a little more interesting? Or we're just gonna spin it and see what happens. Cause you never know, you know what I mean? Um, 
All right, let's just leave it, right? So what I'm seeing already is this is going more this way. So I'm gonna to start to spin it and see which way the paint is going. Which way it wants to go. All right, so it is traveling more this way. So let's, I'm gonna spin it really fast now. I get all that paint off the edges. Okay, now slow down. How are we doing? Kind of boring. That's okay. I'm gonna want this to come down a little more this way. Spin her out. And you kind of want to like tilt and try to control where it's going. It's harder when your pillow paint is a little thicker. Now, I want her to go down more this way. Okay, how are we doing? All right, so I still want her down this way and she doesn't want to go. Come on, you gotta cooperate a little bit. There we go. I mean, she's pretty, but she's not she's kind of boring. You know, I still want her to come down more this way. So if she, cause she's not behaving, what I'm gonna do is I might just put a cup, cause I really want this edge down. So I might, cause there's not a lot of paint there, just put a cup and this can get dangerous guys. <laughs> but let's go slow. Help gravity a little bit. And you want to watch your cells and make sure they're not warping too much. And while we're at it, see this paint was so thick, it didn't even fly off. Usually this one quart of paint that I did would all come spinning off and this would cover the whole piece. So it depends on the consistencies of everything. Because to me, just having a white bloom in the, I mean, a bloom with white all around is a little boring, you know? But we're getting there. We're not super warping yet. Uh, let me move the cup now and we'll give her another go. Okay. Just get as much off as we can. Okay, Ooh. All right, that side wants to go off fine. You wanna go off side? Go ahead, be my guest. Okay, here we go. Whoa. So at this point she's done and I'm looking at her and I'm like, I'm not so sure. She looks kind of boring. I mean, the sparkles look good. And I will tell you, I almost scraped her. I sent a picture of her to Karen from Waterfall Acrylics, my friend Billy, who's the fluid art queen of the world, and Elise. And they're like, are you crazy? Don't you scrape that. And thank goodness I didn't because I resined her up and look at those sparkles. I don't know. It's just a kind of a lesson to show you don't scrape what you think is ugly in the moment because an hour later you might change your mind. And look at her. She's really pretty. I'm so sorry, little lady, that you were almost killed. And there's Penny in the background. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>